pH of acids and bases. pH of acids and bases and of course we have a series of questions here that illustrates the determination of the pH of an acid or a base. Okay, so basically we know that acids are substances that produce hydrogen ion as the only possibly charged particle in an aqueous solution, while a base is a substance that produces hydroxyl ion. As it produces H plus, base produces OH minus. Alright? So basically, we have what we call pH. pH is called potential of hydrogen. Potential of hydrogen. That's what pH means. Potential of hydrogen. So basically, it is a scale that helps in the determination of the level, the level, the acidic level, the basic level, or the neutral level of the substance. So you can put that. Okay, so right. So the pH of the substance, the pH of the substance is defined as is defined as a scale which aids which aids in the determination, a scale which aids in the determination of the level of acidity, neutral, neutrality, and alkalinity, alkalinity in brackets, basicity of a substance, basicity of a substance. Alright, so it helps you to know if a substance is an acid, if it is neutral, or if it is a base that is an alkaline. Alright, so it's important to actually understand all of these. Okay, it will help you to actually know what a particular pH value represents as long as that substance is concerned. Alright, now full stop. Okay, now the scale. The scale used in the determination of the pH of the substance, the scale used in the determination of the pH of the substance is referred to as pH scale. Is referred to as pH scale. Is referred to as pH scale, which is which is which is indicated as follows. Which is indicated as follows. All right. So now the pH scale. It's like this. The pH scale is like this. Okay? We have from 0 to 14. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So the pH scale ranges from 0 to 14. Now, look at this. This is the pH scale. Now, from 0 to 6.9 is acidic. Any substance that has a pH that really increases around 6.9, 6.8 to 5.2, 2.5, any substance that has a pH that really between 0 and 6.9 is an acid. Now from 7 to 7.9, 7 to 7 point, uh, to 7 to 7.9 is neutral. Alright? Why from 8 to 14 is basic? Alright? Remember, I think that basic is also called alkaline. Basic is also called alkaline. Alright? So it's important to note that these are the ranges for acidic, for neutral, and for basic. Is that clear? Now, look at this. Now, we'll be looking at the formulas that will enable us to calculate the pH of the substance effectively. But I need you to understand that these are the ranges. So, by the time you calculate the pH of the substance, okay, you would know the actual substance that is present in whatever container. If someone brings you a container to you and you actually know the pH, it will enable you to know the nature of that substance. If it's an acid, if it's a base, or if it's a neutral substance. In neutral substance, it's something that is neither an acid nor a base. Does that make sense? Alright, beautiful. Now, I want you to also note this. Okay? To determine the pH of a substance, to determine the pH of a substance, the molar concentration, 
The modal concentration is a huge determinant. The modal concentration is a huge determinant or known value or known value. A huge determinant or known value, which means that for you to actually know the pH of the substance, you need to first of all know the concentration. It can be the hydrogen ion concentration or it can be it can be hydrogen ion concentration, which is H plus, or it can be hydroxyl ion concentration, which is OH minus. This is spelled hydroxyl. Hydroxyl ion concentration. Why is this hydrogen ion concentration? This hydroxyl ion concentration. Now whenever you see H plus OH minus in square brackets, it means that we are talking about concentration. Alright? Now the unit for concentration is mole per PMQ, mole per liter or molar, capital letter M. Mole per PMQ, mole per liter or capital letter M, which represents molar. Now I want you to understand that all of these three are used interchangeably. They all mean the same thing. They all mean what? The same thing. So they are used interchangeably. So quickly, I will give you the formula that will enable us to, to best understand the concepts of the pH of acids and bases. Alright? Now the first formula I will give you, number one, is that pH is equal to minus log hydrogen ion concentration. Now please, I want you to know that this hydrogen ion concentration sometimes it is actually represented as H3O plus. H3O plus is called hydronium, hydronium ion. Okay, so it is sometimes used to actually determine um, concentration, used to like replace H plus. It has the same thing. Hydrogen ion concentration, hydrogen ion concentration, the same thing. All right. Then now we also have number two to be POH. POH is minus log OH minus. Minus log OH minus. Alright? So that those are the formulas. Now another thing is that you can be given pH and POH and you will be told to look for hydrogen ion concentration or hydroxyl ion concentration. How do you do that? Now if you are given pH and you are told to look for hydrogen ion concentration, the hydrogen ion concentration is 10 raised to the power of the minus pH. To get hydrogen ion concentration is 10 raised to the power of the minus pH. Then to get hydroxyl ion concentration, OH minus, is 10 raised to the power of minus pOH. 10 raised to the power of minus pOH. Okay? Then um, we also have another formula. Now there's what we call KW. KW is called the water dissociation constant. This is called water dissociation constant. Water dissociation constant. And the value for KW is 1 times 10 raised to the power minus 14. Okay? 1 times 10 raised to the power minus 14. This is the value for KW. Alright? And the formula for KW is equal to hydrogen ion concentration times hydroxyl ion concentration. So this KW will help you to actually know when to get any of these values here that are unknown. Maybe if you have H plus and you're told to look for OH minus, KW is constant. You can just substitute it into the formula and make H plus OH the formula. Alright? Then we also have we also have what we call PKW. The formula for PKW is equal to pH plus pOH. Mind you, PKW also has a constant value which is equal to 14. PKW also has a constant value which is equal to what? 14. Alright? Which is equal to 14. Now, the next one, alright, the next formula that we'll be looking at, next formula we'll be looking at, okay? Is okay now we have PW, we have PW here, alright? So basically, if we have our pH, we can make PKW and uh, we can make POH so the formula that is if we don't have pH, this is 14. So we move pH over here, so it will be PKW minus minus pH. Alright? So of course these are the major formulas that can enable you to primarily understand the basic knowledge of acids and bases as regards the determination of its pH. Alright, 
So now let us go straight to answering these questions. Have you understood these concepts? Let us go straight into answering these questions. Okay? Now, we'll begin with the first. The first question here, number one, alright, it says, a substance containing the polarity of 0 0.05 mole per kg is placed in the glass. Determine its pH. Okay, determine its pH. Now, we have um, the substance, molarity. The concentration here is 0 0.05 mole per kg. Remember, it means mole per kg, molar, and also a mole per liter. They mean the same thing. Alright, so remember, if you have to do for pH, pH is just minus 1 H plus. And this will be equal to minus 1, 0.05. Alright, so minus 1, so calculate that quickly. So minus 1, 0.05. Minus, minus 1, 0.05. Okay? So we have 1.301 as, as the answer. Alright, so this is just basically 1.3. So you need that the case of that substance is 1.3. How did you do it? You knew it by having the concentration. When you do minus log of that, it will just help you to actually get the um, concentrate the pH. Okay? It will help you to get the pH, okay? So now number two. Number two, calculate the pH of a 0 0.25 molar sample of H2S04. Calculate the pH of a 0 0.25 molar sample of H2S04. Alright, so now look at this. You have a substance. The substance is no. Yeah, the substance is not known. You just know the substance. But yeah, the substance is known. And you give it 0 0.25 molar as the concentration. Now, I want you to know that this 0 0.25 molar is just the H plus. It's just the idea that your concentration. 0 0.25 molar. If you look at the analysis of the six acid, which is H2SO4, if you dissociate this, H2SO4 would give you 2H plus plus SO4 2 minus. Alright? 2H plus plus SO4 2 minus. So, by the time we have this, you now realize that hydrogen ion is how many? It's 2, right? So, the hydrogen ion that you need to use the question is not the actual hydrogen ion. Don't just use it like that. Check the substance that you give you, except no substance is given. But when the substance is given, check that substance and multiply the number of hydrogen ion in the substance by the, the hydrogen ion concentration that was given to you. Do you understand? So, it means that this will now be 2. H plus, looking at the fact that H plus is 2, so we we'll now say 2 times 0 0.25. Alright? 2 times 0 0.25, this should give you 0 0.5. Okay, so this will give you 0 0.5 volts molar. So this is the actual concentration we we'll use. So it means that a pH now will equal to minus log 0 0.5. Alright? So minus log 0 0.5 will give us the pH. So if we do minus log 0 0.5, what are we going to get? 0 0.30. So 0 0.30. So 0.30. So 0 0.30 so would, would give us 0 0.30 or 0 0.3. Alright? Give us the pH. pH does not have any units. Alright? pH does not have any units. Okay? So that is for number 2. That is for number 2. Now, the top question, did I mean the hydrogen ion of an hydrogen ion concentration of an acid with a pH of 5.38? Alright, let's do that quickly. We're looking at number 3 now. Number 3 is to determine the hydrogen ion concentration of an acid with a pH of 5.38. I told you that when you have pH and you told to determine H plus, it's simple. Your pH here is 5.38. Alright, now we pay the pH of pH. Hydrogen ion concentration will simply give you, will simply be 10 raised to the power of minus pH, which is, which is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 5.38. If you do 10 raised to the power minus 5.38, you'll be getting 
0.00004, which is 4 times 10 raised to the power of, yeah, there is another zero here, 10 raised to the power minus 6 molar or more per DNQ. So this is your hydrogen ion concentration. Alright, so now let's quickly look at number 4. Let's quickly look at number 4, the fourth question. Now the fourth question says a calcium hydroxide sample has a hydrogen hydroxide concentration of this. Okay, so first of all, the this number four. So hydroxyl ion concentration here is 2.89 times 10 raised to the power minus 11 mole per liter. Okay, so now we are going to look for three things: pH, pOH, and H plus. Now look at this, guys. Now it's important to understand that the substance here is CaOH. I told you that whenever you're giving the substance, you need to take note of if it's an acid. Take note of the hydrogen ions there. If they base, take note of the hydroxyl ions there. So this will now give you, if you dissociate this, this will give you Ca2 plus plus 2OH minus. Ca2 plus plus 2OH minus. Alright? So now quickly, quickly you will be solving, you will be calculating it very soon. But now let us look at this. So there are two hydroxyl ions, so this will be two times OH minus, which is 2 times 2.89 times 10 raised to the power minus 11. Let's quickly do that. Okay, so we have 2 times 2.89 times 10 raised to the power minus 11. So this will give us 5.78 times 10 raised to the power minus 11 mole per liter. More than that. We can even use more like still the same thing. Alright? So now that we have gotten our OH minus, we can get, let's get POH first. Okay, since it's POH that can be easy for us to get, let's get our POH first. So POH is equal to minus log OH minus. Alright? POH is minus log OH minus. So now let's do that quickly. These are OH minus, which is our concentration. So minus log of 5.78 times 10 raised to the power of minus 11. Okay? So this will give us 10.24, approximately 10.24, so this are our pH. Now, now, the next thing is to get our pH. Alright? To get our pH. So pH is the next thing. Let's get our pH. I told you that PKW is equal to pH plus pOH. Don't forget that. PH plus POH, alright? So now quickly, if we have gotten a PK, PKW, I told you is a constant, alright? And the value for PKW is 14. Now PH here is unknown, POH is 10.24, alright? So we say 14 minus 10.24 is equal to PH, okay? So it means that 14 minus 10.24 should give us 1.24. Or 2.6 something, a 14 minus 10.24. Give us 3.76 rather. So it means that our pH, our pH share, our pH share, I beg your pardon, pH share will be 3.76. Now that you have got your pH, it will be easy for you to get your H plus. To be easy for you to get your H plus. So remember that you have pH H plus. H plus is H plus is equal to 10 raised to the power minus pH. Remember, so this will be 10 raised to the power of minus 3.76. Okay, 10 raised to the power of minus 3.76. Okay, so this will give us 0.00. .00 017, which is 1.7 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 mole per liter. Alright? Mole per liter. So that is the answer to this question. So please try at number 5. Okay, if you're not subscribed to this channel, do well to hit the subscribe button. When you stop number 5, drop your question, your, your answer in the comment box. If you have any question whatsoever, anything that was confusing, feel free to ask. Like as well and share this video. Thank you.